master page has been created, there may be a need to make some modifications to the content on the actual InDesign document pages it has been applied to. So for example, you have a master A or a master B, you've added some sort of content to it. Let's say it's the circle in our previous example back here. You've made the circle, it's on a master page, and you've linked it to the pages in your document. Get back to where we were. Sometimes you'll need to go back and you'll need to modify that content either overall and you would edit the master page, but sometimes you need to edit just the content that's on a specific page. For example, if you're making a multi-chapter book, there will be a need to change the title of each chapter if you used your master pages to design the first page of each chapter. Later in this lecture, we'll discuss the differences between master pages and styles, and at a time we'll explore the benefits of each, but for now let's assume our only option is to repeat the chapter title formatting using a master page because it's a good example of how you would have to break content from the master. To break content from a master page, so to say that I know that it repeats in exactly the same way, in the same place, same color, etc., you are going to command shift click the frame that you want to break from the master. When you go to page 7 and it has content that has been linked from a master page, all the master page content will be locked and you will not be able to edit it. But if you command shift click on a Mac or control shift click on your PC, it will break the content from the master. You can also select a page or a spread and choose the override all master page items from the options flyout menu and it will break every single piece of content that's on the master from being connected to the master anymore. If you decide that you should not have broken content from the master because once you break content from a master, if you change the content on your master page, it will not automatically change on the instance page that you've broken it from. You can relink the content by selecting the page or spread and choose apply master to pages via the options flyout menu on the pages panel. Now be careful when you do this because if you've broken content and then you relink content, you might end up with duplicated content. So if we go back to our example with the circle, we have a blue, greeny blue circle in the example. If I go to this spread here and I command shift click or control shift click this circle and I change it to be red instead of blue and then I decide that that was a bad idea because I want all the circles to be blue. You can relink this spread to the master, but you might end up with a blue circle and a red circle. So just keep that in mind. You'll have to delete the content that you edited, or you may, depends on what change you've made.